Okay, I want to give you a short video here on the queen cell incubator uh, that I just made. And it's a prototype. It's uh, tried several different things with it. And it consists of a five frame nuke box. Uh, the bottom part here, um, sort of like a swarm box attachment. You can take it off with these latch hooks. Uh, has a light bulb in this end, light bulb in this end. Um, and a muffin fan in the center. Um, the thermostat here is a Ranco thermostat. Uh, you can keep the temperature within uh, one degree with this, which is uh, very useful. You can set it at 92 degrees. And uh, I also have a remote temperature and humidity control, or not control, but sensor. Right now it's at 92.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 46% relative humidity. Um, also have a 15 foot extension cord uh, for power for the thing and I'll let you see what the inside looks like uh, just a standard wood uh, top on there right now um, what we have here is aluminum floor it's vented here it's vented here it's vented here and here there's a low volume muffin fan right in the center there uh, for circulation and um, it's not too noisy. Uh, this is the thermostat for the Ranco. Um, also, this is the sensor for the um, humidity and temperature sensor that I can monitor it remotely, probably about 100 feet or so. Uh, humidity control, this is kind of unique, I think. Um, I tried several different methods of using jars, wet rags, and other things. And what I did is I came up with uh, using an open brood frame. This is a deep brood frame uh, comb that I just filled all the cells with tap water, just regular old tap water. And that seems to give it uh, more consistent humidity over a longer period of time. Uh, you may have to add another frame or, or rotate frames. Uh, as the days go on but for now it seems to be doing uh, a pretty consistent job but with a remote uh, sensor you'll be able to uh, see when the humidity is getting too low you can always go out and swap frames around so anyway that was my first attempt at the uh, queen cell incubator the cells remain in there for uh, approximately five days uh, after that um, you harvest them put them in the mating nuke um, maintain the temperature around 92 degrees, around 50% relative humidity. So anyway, that pretty much sums it up. That's it.